Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm Brandon Wirtz, and I'm here with... Viktor Shumsky, and I'm a voice TSP with Microsoft. And we just saw the new link interface, and it's really cool from the client side, but you think that the improvements in the server and the back end are even more impressive? Yeah, I think so. I think from the large clients specifically, which I work with mostly, uh, there are some improvements on the server side that makes the server is the next, in, takes into the next generation. Uh, some of the key features that I want to mention is uh, survival branch appliance, for example, where you have a remote office, you can install survival branch appliance in the office, and even if you lose your WAN link between your branch and your main location, people are still up and running and operational. They can make a PSTN phone calls, they can interact with each other. That would be one. Uh, uh, it's media bypass, uh, where we pick a codec when you call making a phone call to the outside. We pick a right codec, compare, you know, uh, that it's uh, workable with outside partner, and you don't have to convert your media from RT audio to G711, for example. What that allows us to do is eliminate quite a bit of mediation servers, right? And mediation servers was often, you know, given to us as an example. You, you have to guess, you have to have so many of those, right? So you can use media bypass and make mediation server virtual and part of the uh, OCS link pool or link pool. And so that gives us better compatibility and better scalability with third-party devices like Polycom and other conferencing solutions? Uh, that too, but primarily what it gives you is it gives you an ability to take all the roles and make them all virtual. In link server, we support all the roles as a virtual roles. Uh, another, uh, another huge improvement that we have in Link, we have new devices, and I think we have one of the devices right here, like this Polycom standalone phone. Uh, in the past, we had very limited amount of standalone power with the Ethernet telephones. Now we have uh, several devices from Polycom and Astra and a couple other manufacturers that you can use directly with Link without using your laptop. And even though we believe that many people are going to go to the soft client, it's going to be always percentage of people that want to use standalone phone. From a manageability standpoint, this integrates with group policies and other Microsoft ACL technologies so that you can manage the, the relationships and the roles? Yes, uh, it does. Uh, on the client side, uh, but also on the server side, we have a new tool called Topology Builder that allows you to create pretty much your link custom environment using Topology Builder tool. Imagine, if you will, that you have a PBX that you can mold to your specifications. And that's what it allows us to do. You take a standard link server software and using this Topology Builder tool, you create your different server roles, as many uh, as you need, and the roles that you do need to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. We'll, uh, go ahead. And so, in addition to that, you've got something that manages with the topology in terms of quality of service and bandwidth limitations, something that will allow us to make sure that me doing a video conference with a friend doesn't take all of my voice. Right. I guess, I guess we're talking about uh, CAC, and CAC is a call admission control. Basically, it's a tool that allows us to set policies uh, that control how many calls, voice or video calls, go through the particular LAN or WAN link. And if you have a you know, thin points in your network, you can specify that you only allow, you know, that many calls and each call can take that much pipe, right? So along with the QoS, it's very important so you wouldn't get into the issue where you flood in the pipe with just one type of media and blocking everything else. And this gives us higher resolution control than just a standard QoS where we'd say, here's 768K for all of my telephone calls, this will actually say, I only get to do 10 calls and none can be more than a certain amount? Right, right. And you can put a policy on each link, which is kind of important, uh, you know, is if you're running, you know, pretty extensive topology, you don't have to apply, you know, all of it for the, for the entire topology. You can specify the particular link and what rules they apply for this particular link. Well, thank you for your time. And thank you. Link is pretty impressive.